Okay, so <clears throat> on to find a new black book. Had a big delay in recording because I had to do all everything I did, I did from completing the main quest of Dragonborn all over again because I got sick and tired of the glitch of not being able to use Waking Dreams to redo my perks whenever I wanted to and I decided to go back on about 50 something hours of gameplay like oh my god anyway but um, so yeah uh, and also I had a getting over a cold right now end of the nice end of the year winter cold It looks like something's lived here recently. Yeah, until they died. Whoops, I missed you. Hope oh, none of you guys have a fear of spiders. Oh, it's a weird freaking sack, so exploding spiders. These spiders have low health, even on uh, Master. Oh! Oh, well, you don't have low health. More ugly sacks. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with these people? They're like all fucking yellow. Oh, it's got a spider on its head. Okay, that's glitchy. Oh god, that's just fucking weird. Yeah, that thing pulsing. Oh my god.
Oh, I don't want to take that pot. Wow, that's a lot of geodes. Damn it. Oh, whoa, my health. like something's <gasps> wish it worked indoors Oh, the itsy bitsy spider caught the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Oh shit, oh shit. You take care of them, Tedrin. Children. I'll just get some stuff down here. Oh, the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Damn, Teldrin, you killed everything. Oh, name person. Ooh. Flame cloaked spider. Jumping flame spider. I know what he's planning. Does he really think he can take all the credit for discovering these spiders? Next time he goes into the safety cage to do whatever it is he does with those spiders, I'll lock the door. You'll have no choice but to listen to me then. What does he mean about me not being able to, being right in the head? There's nothing wrong with me. He's the one trying to steal my discovery. He thinks I don't see what he is doing. There's nothing wrong with me. Nothing! He keeps talking to me like I'm insane. I'm not insane. Who said I'm insane? Did I say I was insane? I'll show him insane. It doesn't matter. He'll see what the real power is. The chanting we heard just outside the main chambers just must mean there's something extremely powerful there. If I can get my hands on that energy and bring it back, who knows what kind of discoveries we can make from it. 
Crazy. Oh. Oh. Thank you for your service. Let me get time to read what it says. I'll do those later. Bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Yetsy Bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Where'd the other spider go? He's got a little light on him. What's our next? Oh, move? get out of my way. Have at him! I 
I'm gonna push you down. Ooh. Oh, awesome, Teldrin. Ah, there's a key. Oh. Don't want you book. was a bit of a cold voice crack there. She's finally done it. I knew she'd eventually crack. I probably should have left when I had the chance. The untapped power within these spiders has finally gone to Mer Merilar's head. Who would have thought these tiny albino creatures had the ability to harness such magic? Being locked in this cage is frustrating, of course, but it is keeping me even more focused on my work. What did she think I was going to do anyway? And as my sister, she must have known how devoted I am to this work. Although I can't fault her for her actions right now, who knows what kind of fumes these experiments have been giving off or what effect they have on human brain. At least I'm alright, or maybe I'm not, but I think I am. Could these experiments be having the same effect on me that they are on her? Magnificent, it seems as though you can combine any one of the base spiders with a modifier to tweak its behavior. For instance, just imbuing an albino pod with a ruby seems to create these spiders that jumps at its victims and proceeds to explode. But simply adding a salt pile to the mix creates the same manner of spider, but instead of jumping and explodes, it emits a flame from its body. I'd experiment with more of these behaviors, but it seems the bandits we tested the mind control spiders on are still locked away. Marilar doesn't want me to let them out. Maybe there are too many in there t for her to handle. I heard her muttering to herself earlier today. She was saying that things like, These spiders are mine. They will listen to me. What exactly is she planning? I hope she's not attempting to enter blocked off room in the main chamber. She knows we specifically sealed it after hearing odd chanting coming from that direction. And again, what she used to know may not matter right now, considering the state she's been in. I hope she'll be all right. I've only tried a few combinations, but Things look promising. Here's what I've discovered so far. Ruby plus albino pod, jumping flame spider. Ruby plus damage pod, exploding flame spider. 
Ruby Puss Salt Pile was Damage Pile and nothing. Ruby Puss Salt Pile was Albino Pod, Flame Cloak Spider. Looking at the results, it seems as though the purity of the gem could enhance the imbuing process in some unforeseen way. Perhaps I could get my hands on a flawless ruby. I have also theorized that one were to mix any of these ingredients in the previous experiments, a new discovery is likely to be made. Upon further inspection of both a diamond and a garnet, it seems they don't contain the necessary power required. I know for a fact that a ruby works, as seen in my previous experiments. Next, I'll see how the reaction worked with an amethyst, emerald, or even a sapphire. There must be some other types of spiders out there. Who knows what other kinds of imbuing process have taken place? Well, we'd best keep our eyes open. The source of the interaction will most likely be nearby, whatever new species we find. to mess with this thing for a while be right back okay so that's all complete I wish I had more salt piles but I forgot about that all right so exploding flame spider exploding frost spider for the broken legs exploding poison spider exploding shock spider flame cloaked spider that's pretty cool Frost Cloak Spider, Jumping Flame Spider, oh, they look pretty much the same as there, just without the thing. Mind Control Spider, oh that looks wicked. An Oil Spider, oh it looks the same. And a Shock Cloak Spider. I don't have the Poison Cloak Spider because I didn't have enough salt piles. That's all pretty cool. I think I'll favorite these ones. Those ones just stay there like that until they blow up. Like that. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Oh, cool. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. God damn it. What the fuck were you doing? Oh, great, a dragon. Nice, this is pretty much easy access to back to the imbuing chamber. That's pretty cool. Anytime you want to take I've spent enough time to last a lifetime.
Good day, friend. Keep it well. Hmm? I have the black, uh, blah, 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 blah. I have the Necronomicon. Excellent. I'll just make a copy for myself. It's far too dangerous to carry the real book around. Of course you can handle yourself. Of course you can. Of course. Now, take this for your efforts, and we'll call the matter closed. Can I help with your research again? Can you? Of course you can. What took you so long to ask? I've been trying to adapt Redguard magic to the Ash. I think the key concept I'm missing is recorded in Afasariat's book, Wind and Sand. I have some associates and correspondents who find things for me. One of them has a credible rumor on where this book might be. And I'd like you to find the truth of the matter. Don't just stand there. Go get my book. Fuck off. I'll do it when it's convenient for my time. Need something. But just so you guys know, there's a lot of coughing and spewing of phlegm I had cut out of this Let's Play. See you guys, uh, the next chapter. Good night.